thought I would do a walk around of my 10 by 16 portable storage building. I got this probably about five years ago and I've been slowly making upgrades. Last year I had to move it so everything had to come out of it and then I was able to re put everything in and reorganize it the way that I have always really wanted it. Um, a lot of the interior was all done with reclaimed stuff and shelves that I've gotten at Goodwill. Uh, stereo system was got at Goodwill. The couch, <laughs> there's a couch in there, was got at Goodwill. Uh, all the speakers I got at Goodwill. I mean, I've just been, every time I go into Goodwill, I look for something because it's a whole lot cheaper doing it that way. Um, all the wood that I have stacked up on top right here, that's all free. I get off of the loads. I drive a big truck. And uh, underneath it are bricks that were an insurance claim from the company. They ended up uh, becoming damaged, so I was able to acquire those from the shop at work. And then I've got center blocks that I've gotten for free from when they dropped off my satellite dish on the ground they put bricks on it so I was able to get that back but anyway <clears throat> just slowly putting things together I also have a mini truck and then my trailer and I just got all kinds of stuff I'll acquire it little by little over the years uh, all the wood back here is from uh, Sean my future wife's brother so my future brother-in-law uh, he gave me all the wood. He gave me the tin for the top, which that is 10 by almost, uh, what, 13, 14, because I got this little bit of an overhang in the back. But I put that together. These fences I acquired from a load behind a warehouse, and then uh, I put them up to be able to put that together. I've got the fire pit out here which all that is is a 55 gallon drum shaved in half a friend of mine made one and so hell i had to go out and make me one too these are just wheels with glass tops and then i built bases for them i used to have them in my old house but now they're out here for the fire pit um portable canopy to be able to uh have a little workspace the four wheelers are in the corral I've got power tools and everything that I built up on a shelf here hangs underneath that there's my mini truck so anyway here it is 10 by 16 shed um, the porch is all reclaimed wood from various places so that's I think that's like four foot three and a half four foot is that and then I've got the doors this is the one with the windows and the double doors on this side I only use one door so the other door I have a shelf sitting in front of it um, I do have 220 power that I ran underground that comes up into the wall right here and I have a box inside let's go inside and check it out uh, I added these bolts that way when I'm gone, I can actually slide a lock through. It's just a little extra deterrent. As soon as you come in, I started putting a floor in. I haven't finished, but I got a little bit of a floor covering. I've put dressers in here for storage because they don't take up much space. I'm trying to get a mosquito out of here. Ah, let me get inside. All right, inside, I've got my air conditioner there which all the power wire was all ran by me. So over here, I've got one outlet there that goes just for the air conditioner. I've got steel in this corner with other stuff, my trophies. I've got my, my little couch here and my stereo is here. On top of that shelf, I've got a speaker in this, in all four corners. Plus I've got uh, speakers outside in three spots. And if you notice, 
you can see it right there. There's a switch hanging right there. That switch is so I can turn the speakers on and off outside. That way I don't have to worry about blaring my radio if I just want to be able to have fun in here. I've got two file cabinets. Those were also acquired at uh, Goodwill. Yeah, I know. She always watches. So yeah, that was acquired from the ex-wife, but she left it behind. Um, dressers. I've got a press in here. All my shelves over there. I've got three lights. I'd like to trans change these out to uh, flush mounted lights so that these don't stick down so eventually I'm gonna do that go over here I've got that shelf there and then I've got an actual work table with another air conditioner in this window so yeah I can get it downright cold in here if I really want to and then a little bench goes all the way around that way power tools there toolbox and tools there I'm gonna move this stuff around still but if you can see this is uh what one two three four five six foot across right here and then uh if we go over here we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven basically eleven foot all the way to the other couch and then that's over there and then there's also because what I did is most of the time they have this is open all the way across. So what I did was I put boards right here so I could put a piece of plywood up there on both sides to uh, close off that, which allowed me for more storage. Because this, yes, it does go up another three foot up there and spans the entire length up in the barn roof for storage. So I have a bunch of stuff up there that's all in storage Let's stand over here and we can look that way so it's just a matter of what you want to do with these little buildings I mean there's so many things to do to make it yours this is like my little man cave if you will and I come out here to be able to relax to be able to work on stuff to be able to get started on on uh, on any kind of project that I want to do and I've been doing projects outside of course you've seen some of my videos if you haven't please check out the rest of my channel I have a lot of how-to videos and I've done most all of them with this little building right here so it's, it's really comes in handy for whatever purpose you want you want it for uh, thank you for watching that's a tour of my little uh, I, it's a portable building but I call it my mini shop and uh, a thumbs up for mini shop uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on future videos I'm sorry I haven't been able to get to a lot of videos I've been working on a lot of different things around the house uh, if you've made it this far you can make it out here I built a uh, gotta open the door first before you do that um, out here I built a, a little porch on front of our other building. Our little our little pool. Somebody gave us that pool and we absolutely love it. There we go. I built this the other day. Of course, the wood came from Gina's brother. The top wood came from the loads that I carry and the bricks underneath it. It's all free. The only thing I had to buy was the nails that I put this whole deck together with. This is five foot by 10 foot wide. It's enough so we can jump up on top of there. Next year, that's gonna be for sale. There's a little something wrong with the motor. We're not sure what it is, but yeah. I gotta pressure wash the back of the house. That's what I'm doing next. Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Please. Uh, rate and comment give us some thumbs up and uh, that's it see y'all in the next video whatever you dream about build it even if you don't have the money to build the most expensive thing in the world whatever you build is what the fuck am I trying to say I don't know something I was trying to think of something cool 
But yeah, I mean, if you don't have a whole lot of money, just make do with what you have. How about that? So I made do with what I have. See y'all.